A key part of, of honoring the Lord is, is gratitude, being thankful. I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. I'm Bob Walker. Uh, I'm president of Walker Manufacturing Company and we're located in Fort Collins, Colorado. We're sitting here in our factory. It's uh, 216,000 square feet. We have uh, 155 employees and we like to say instead of making lawnmowers, we make beautiful places. I felt a very distinct call to be a Christian businessman and that occurred when I heard Mr. Letourneau give his testimony and tell how the Lord had uh, called him. And I love the story where Jesus fed 5,000 with one little boy's lunch. Uh, that, that shows how, how God's kingdom is supposed to operate. And so when we give our little lunch, uh, to use the analogy, I believe the Lord takes what we give him and multiplies it. And so in this business, we, we have been able to see that. We've been able to see, uh, you can say, well, you've only got 155 people here. Uh, that's not a very big deal. In my mind, if you trace it all out, all the suppliers, all the customers, all the people that are touched by what we do here, thousands of people are fed or have some part of their livelihood connected to this company, which is, I believe, a, the way God's kingdom is supposed to operate. For me, my faith is I treat every lawnmower that I'm making like Christ is going to be getting that lawnmower. So I want to make sure that everything is just perfect on it to the best that I can do. My brother got out of college in 1975, so we worked together for a long time. We try to live our faith, and um, while we don't do a lot of preaching, we have a, a list of principles that we put together that kind of highlight you know, how we think and, and um, guidelines for you know, the goals for the company. One of them says something to the effect that we love people and use money instead of use people and love money. Even though it's a very seasonal business, and that is we, we would normally, if we just made mores, mores when we needed them, we would wait and bring a whole bunch of people in, make lawn mores, and then shut down uh, when we were done for the season. But uh, for us, we, we felt uh, from a, as a principle that we should treat people uh, like we would want to be treated, which means people have a full-time life. Nobody has a seasonal life. And uh, so we've tried to organize and have organized ourselves to have year-round employment. I love working here. I love working with Bob Walker and Dean Walker. Um, they're both true to the word. They, once they tell you they're going to do something or help you out, they will. Uh, I have a, a favorite scripture that I, th it's, it's, uh, it's really helped me across the years. Um, Philippians 2, 4, where it says, look not only to your own interest, but the interest of others. So when you face a decision and you say, well, what's best for us? But scripture teaches we should be looking also to the interest of these other people. It, it helps answer the question, what, sh what should I do? Early in 2009, when, I, when we began to move into what we call our springtime sales, they just weren't there. We did not have enough uh, jaw, uh, uh, work to keep everybody busy. So we, I think the Lord, well, I know the Lord helped us come up with a solution to save some jobs. We um, found some work that needed to be done out in our community. And we sent work teams out and we paid them. They were on our payroll, but we did community service. And sure enough, it was, <laughs> it was the bridge that we needed to get into January and February. And by the time we got to that point, things begin to pick up a little bit. The easy thing would have been to just lay people off. I tell you what, what brought me here was their integrity. And I just love that because they love the Lord. And I don't work for the walkers, I work with them. And that's a big difference. Well, my brother is very much a man of principle and a man of faith. Again, that's evident in his life on a, on a daily basis. And so he's been a very, um, you know, stabilizing force in our company for years and years and uh, has really led by example of, of just walking the walk. A favorite question that some of these business advisors or consultants like to ask you is, tell me what keeps you awake at night? And uh, I really often 
Oh, I have said right back to them, nothing keeps me awake at night. I sleep good almost every, every night. And uh, there's uh, another scripture that I like very much, Psalm 112, 7, where it says, the righteous man does not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast and tr trusting in the Lord. The scripture that, that really helps me, and it, in fact, I, I put it up on my computer screen during that era of 2009 when things were so bad. Psalm 34, 19, where it says, a righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. <laughs>